Okay, I'm gonna make a quick video. Um, the sink is plugged. Hopefully it's gonna plug up right now. You can see the water is, there's not that much water. There's like check down in here. In the spout, there might be some hair in there. It's really hard to tell, but I get a feeling that most of the problem is down in the trap. I could be wrong, but I'm gonna open up the trap and we're gonna see uh, together what the procedure is and what it looks like in the pipe. You should be wearing gloves. I'm probably not gonna be wearing gloves. Inside a sewer line or a drain line, there's an incredible amount of bacteria and poison in there from all the stuff that goes down the sink. Um, let me go look under the sink really quick. You can see what we've got here. And I've got a light so that you can at least see what I'm going to be doing. Um, and you're going to want to have a little... You want to have something like that. It's worth it because this thing is just going to make a huge mess. Water is going to go all over the place. And I'm going to get the camera on the tripod now, and we'll go from there. Okay, hopefully you can see what I just did. I put a... you don't have to do this, but this is just how I do things. So it makes it easier to put it back together. I marked a black line over here so that I know that that's kind of how it went back together, or how it should be. And there's a white line over here, white line over here, white line over there. I got white lines on the back. Everything's marked just so that I can have some idea of how it was put back together. The whole goal really is just to make sure that it's all put back together and that it's tight and nothing's leaking. But the less work I have to do, the better. What I'm going to try to do is make this as easy as possible for me. I think I can unscrew this thing and I can probably unscrew this and then this trap will remove. And then I can unscrew this and um, get in there, hopefully clean, clean all of this trap out and get into here where there's probably an incredible amount of hair and dirt. So it doesn't really take a lot of effort. You can see I'm just using my fingers. This is plastic pipe, so it's not too tight. It shouldn't be too tight. And... Um, do that on here. All right, this is really hard to do. Holding the tripod and let me get some good lighting in here so that you can at least see what I'm doing, hopefully. So let me get in here on the floor and try to loosen this. come off counterclockwise. I don't know why it's not. I don't want to break it. There it goes. Okay. So this is how you open up a trap or how you get in there and that's why you want the bucket. Otherwise, that would have been all over the place. Okay, so hold on. What I'm going to do now... Oh, that stinks, which means there's a lot of dirt in there. I should have got a towel, but I didn't. What I'm going to do is... Ooh, that smells. The pipe looks fairly clean. I don't know if you can see the pipe. The pipe looks clean. Um, that's the dirt that's coming from there, but there's not a lot of stuff that's plugging it over here. So I'm going to go get a paper towel, roll the paper towels, and then I'll be back. All right, I really don't want to make things worse than I need to, but um, let's go tilt this pipe down, run some water through it, see what happens. It looks fairly clean. I really don't want to go in there and disconnect the pipe from the sink and see if there's hair in there. So what I'm going to do is I've got a... Cheapy little six dollar sink cleaner that I bought from Home Depot. And so I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna put this on camera, you don't need to see this. I'm just gonna jam this thing up there and make sure everything's clean. And then if it is, then I'm going to 
disconnect that black trap or that black pipe angle elbow pipe over there and we'll see if all the junk is sitting in that pipe which it probably is all right not much dirt you can see a little bit of dirt in there but not much stuff really came out when i shoved that snake up this pipe over here so it's a straight through pipe usually hair clogs in there but it normally clogs right against that sink uh, area i mean against the wall area where the elbow is because the water's got to go up and i'm guessing that pipe it's an old pipe it's probably really clogged and filthy so uh, the snake really didn't do anything here's the inside of the pipe that I took off. Um, looks fairly clean, not too dirty inside there. So, okay, the next step is going to be reaching in here and unscrewing this pipe, which I'm not going to be able to do while I hold the camera, but I will put it back on when I, uh, I get the pipe off so you can see what's in there. And we'll see if that is the problem. Okay, I just took off the pipe, and this is what was in the wall. You can see there's a lot of hair, a lot of buildup, a lot of junk, but look what's sitting inside the pipe. That's what I want you to see. Kind of hard to see with the pipe in the way, but I think it's going to show up on camera. junk that's in there. That is where the problem's at. Over half that pipe is clogged with stuff. So I could put my finger in there. I think I'm just gonna, for the purpose of the video and just to make things easier for me, I'm gonna put the snake in there and just grab and we'll see what comes out. So this is how you clean a sink trap and look at all of that. Let's zoom down. That's what's coming out of the pipe. All that black junk. All right, so I will continue the video after I can get in here and uh, clean this a little more. All right, this is where we're at. There's only so much I can do. That's There's only so much I can take out of this pipe. I can't even get a snake in there. It's an old house. It angles. I don't want the snake to get stuck in there. I don't want to break the pipe because it's old. That's the dirt that came out of there. Not a lot. I'm going to clean out the pipe a little bit and make sure that there's nothing up in here but it doesn't look like that's the problem it looks like it gets stuck further down and probably even further down than that and um, the snake might help but I'm not going to push a snake down there so this is the kind of crap that you'll see in your pipe when you open it up and normally things aren't this bad normally you have your your dirt in the pipe over here and you have it stuck in the trap you get a big ball of hair stuck in the trap. This pipe is only about uh, two, three years old at the most. This new piping that was attached to the metal, you can see over here that on the metal, metal where we're attaching to the plastic, there is some plastic pipe tape. There is no, uh, there's no um, plastic tape. There's no piping tape on any of the plastic connecting to plastic but only plastic to metal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go remove the tape that's on there right now, and I'm gonna wrap some new tape on. When you wrap the tape on, you wanna do it clockwise. You wanna wrap it clockwise because when you screw the pipe on, it's gonna be going in a clockwise direction, and if the tape is on backwards, then the tape is not gonna seal. It's probably gonna come off. 
So let me go put that piece back on and I will continue. All right, so far the hardest part has been removing the tape from the pipe. Not easy at all. It, uh, this stuff wraps around the threads, it sticks, and it's not easy. So what I'm going to do, not that it really is going to help much, so I'm going to go into that pipe, which is against the wall. I'm going to take a long screwdriver, and I'm just going to try to remove some of the gunk that's on the side walls of that pipe. And then I'm going to close this thing up, because there's not much more that I can do right now. All right. Let's see what happens. The long screwdriver will go into this pipe, and we'll see what's happening an inch in, a couple inches in. Oh, there's some hair. There's a lot of hair. There's a lot of this gunk. There's hair, and there's this black tar. That's probably built up. And then it, it goes in about two inches, and then it's got an elbow. So I'm sure there's more junk down after that elbow. I just don't want to jam the snake down there right now. Ugh. So this is what lines most of your sore pipes. There's all this hair and black gunk, black dirt, that hydro jetting removes. Um, all right, so that's about all I'm going to get off of this thing. Because as I said, there's an angle about two inches in, and I can't really do much more. So, all right, I'm going to close everything up now. I'm going to wrap some pipe tape around here, put that piece back on, and I will continue in a minute. All right, for those of you who don't know what pipe tape is, this is pipe tape, Teflon tape, used on some gas lines and uh, plumbing. Um, it's like Teflon pipe tape. And what I did, you should be able to see it really well now, I just wrapped it around clockwise, starting at the back, and pressed it into the threads as I wound it, and now it's a tight fit, so that should help when I screw the pipe fitting back on to seal water leaks and make the contact better. Okay, you can see that I put that uh, piece back in the pipe. Be really careful when you tighten these plumbing pieces, it's plastic, you can strip the threads, just be careful. Go slow, make sure that it's uh, feeding properly if it isn't, back off, and don't force plastic pipe. It should thread easily. I'm not going to tighten the back part of that yet, because I... You don't want to tighten anything down until you get everything all positioned, that it's all put together, and then you can start tightening things down and make sure that there are no water leaks. But don't tighten things down until everything's put together. All right, just to show you what I was saying, um, I just tighten this. You can see everything's loose. Everything is loose now. It's all put together. I'm going to tighten this part. I'm going to tighten this part. I'm going to tighten the back part. But you do not want to tighten everything down until everything's screwed in, and then you slowly... Uh, tighten each part of it so that it all mates together and positions properly as you tighten it all down. All right, remember when I started out, I marked everything? That made it much easier for me. Everything's pretty much lined up now. Like when I started, the white at the back, zoom in. This is all lined up, so I knew that I needed to keep tightening until I got to that point. And this is lined up on the back, so everything is fairly, fairly uh, tight right now. Looks good. Um, I'm going to turn on the water, and we'll see if there are any leaks. Uh, you can watch it with me. If there are any leaks, I'm going to look very foolish. see any water coming out yet. I should have wiped down the pipe. It's usually what you want to do is wipe everything down 
so that if any water comes out you can spot it. Better to do that now than later. Um, the sink is still backing up so this didn't really accomplish much. Um, like I said the problem's probably because it's an old house and the dirt goes the dirt is clogged up right after that elbow that's inside the wall and I did as much as I could normally this would help a little bit more on a newer house which didn't have that angle and 75 year old plumbing I don't see any water coming out No water is coming out, and this isn't really good at all. It might even be worse, but um, that's just how it's going to have to be. The only other way is to get a plumber in here to open up the pipe, which is not going to happen, or to start pouring some hot water down this drain to start melting some of the gunk that's way down in there, which I'll probably do next. Uh, pans and pans of hot water to slowly dislodge some of the dirt that's in there. And um, that's it. So, not the best result, obviously, as you can see, but uh, it is better than what it was before, which isn't saying much. And the hot water will be the next step, and then if that doesn't work, then it will be some, uh, some uh, solutions down the drain to try to open up this pipe just a little bit. Hopefully you learned something from this. All right, follow-up. I've been working on this sink for about three hours now. Um, the plug, there's a plug in the pipes. Probably, I have to run the water for about a minute before it plugs up. So like I said, the house is really old. You can see all the dirt that's coming out of the pipes. And I just wanted to be honest about my video. It doesn't always work. It, it can, but it doesn't always. I've put, uh, I've done the um, baking soda and vinegar in the drain and that's helped a lot. I don't know, I've been plunging on and off for the last hour in the hot water and the water finally drained down. So I'm going to pour some more hot water down here one last time and I've got to call into the plumber because sometimes you just can't do things yourself and they're probably going to have to, I can't even snake under the sink because I can't get a snake into the pipe. It has uh, got a bad angle on it. So um, yeah, I'm really honest about my video. Sometimes you can do things and sometimes you just can't.